Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We read in the Heidelberg Catechism, question 69. How does baptism remind and assure you that Christ's one sacrifice on the cross benefits you personally? Answer in this way. Christ instituted this outward washing and with it promised that as surely as water washes away dirt from the body, so certainly his blood and his spirit wash away my soul's impurity, that is, all my sin. Question 70, what does it mean to be washed with Christ's blood and spirit? Answer, to be washed with Christ's blood means that God, by grace, has forgiven our sins because Christ's blood poured out for us in his sacrifice on the cross. To be washed with Christ's spirit means that the Holy Spirit has renewed and sanctified us to be members of Christ so that more and more we become dead to sin and live holy and blameless lives. Question 71. Well, where does Christ promise that we are washed with his blood and spirit as surely as we are washed with water of baptism? Answer, well, in the institution of baptism, where he says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved, but the one who does not believe will be condemned. And this promise is repeated when scripture calls baptism the water of rebirth and the washing away of sins. Baptism is a sacrament of the church. It was instituted by Christ who told us to make disciples and baptize them in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When we are baptized, all of our sins are symbolically washed away and we become children of God. And baptism is a seal of God's promise to bless us with eternal life. If you have been baptized, I urge you to remember your baptisms. If you were an infant when you were baptized, why well, urge you to remember the baptisms of your children or friends in the church and if you've not been baptized, or if your children are not yet baptized, then please contact me, and we will talk about the importance of baptism. We read in the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 44, this wonderful story of a family being baptized. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. Then Peter responded, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit, even as we have? And he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all the blessings sealed upon us in our baptism. Help us to talk about this extraordinary good news to the people we meet daily. This we pray in your glorious name.